18 pages of names. That's how many people have signed up and are still waiting to testify on House Bill 465. That's the one that would make it a crime for anyone in Idaho to perform gender reconstructive surgery on anyone under the age of 18. That hearing still going on right now. And Joe Paris was there when that meeting began at 1.30 this afternoon. He's back with us now. And Joe, what's being heard right now in the uh, House Judiciary Committee room? Well, right now I can tell you, Brian, we're actually watching on my phone uh, until just a minute ago. People are testifying in favor or against that bill that we just described. Again, the committee started at 1.30. There were several different items they had to go through. Some involved marriage certificates, others involved prostitution and how that should be seen under the law. Finally, the last item on the agenda today was this House Bill 465. And again, as Brian mentioned, in part, it would make those gender reassignment surgeries for minors illegal. And because of that, there was a lot of people that showed up at the State House to speak out against that. And that will give you a little bit of a look at what's going on in the committee this afternoon. Again, though, still going on as we speak. And this is actually, you can see uh, in, inside the committee at the State House right now. This is EW42. It's one of those times where the uh, public is invited to come in and weigh in. And actually, if you didn't know this, you can stream a lot of these at home. Not all of them do the video and the audio. This one has the video and audio. Sometimes it's just audio. But it's been this scene for hours and people waiting their turn. Again, it's 5 o'clock now. We've been talking about it here for a few hours. And now we'll give you a look at what the beginning of that conversation was looking like uh, a short time ago. I just want everyone in this room to know that I approach this with nothing but feelings of love and care and concern for everyone in this room. Representative Christy Zitto introduced a bill a short time ago that would prohibit performing gender reassignment surgery on anyone under 18. Critics say this is an attack on transgender rights, but Representative Zitto says the goal here is to protect those who are under 18 from these procedures that are life altering and health threatening. Representative Melissa Wintrow will eventually get to vote on the bill in committee. Today, though, she heard concerns from the community as well as support for the bill. As a physician, I have a great respect for the human body and the need to to prevent in children changes that are permanent that they perhaps don't fully understand what they're doing. That this is an infringement on freedom and it's an absolute overreach by government. So my colleagues who want to have a light touch on government are far overreaching into my own identity and who I want to be. During the hearing, Representative Zitto said that gender dysphoria is a mental disorder and it should be treated as such. If it's a mental disorder as listed in the Diagnostics and Statistics Manual, then it should be treated as a mental disorder and not as a physical disorder. Representative Wintrow disagrees. Everybody deserves the opportunity in this United States of America and Idaho to be who they want to be and have the opportunity to succeed. As we told you, uh, public testimony is still going on right now, so it's likely that they will not vote on this today. I can tell you now that they won't vote on this, but they should bring this up in committee soon. Brian, again, we showed a few different rooms during that story, and that's actually because those were overflow, overflow rooms. Yeah. That first room got packed up so quickly, way before 1.30, so the Capitol staffers, they had to open up at least two or three other rooms, which were also packed, so people could just watch on projectors and then take their turn walking over to the main room and testifying. And they're limiting testimony right now to just two minutes a person. Yeah, right, we'll keep tabs on it. Thanks, Joe.